Hey, this is a video to show you how to set up your project for CNC um, cutting on the uh, on the shop bot um, for your full scale design. First thing you need to do is finish your design. Make sure everything is uh, three quarters of an inch thick that you're going to be cutting out of the or half inch if you choose half inch material. Uh, just make sure that your two pieces are exactly the same thickness. You can use I for inspect and then click on a line and it'll tell you it's 0.75 and you can check the other one to make sure it's the same. Um, then you need to draw a piece of material that you're going to extrude to a certain thickness. And I think that is in here in my sketch. I drew something that's 15 inches by 15 inches. Then I extruded it to be um, uh, the thickness of my material, in this case, 3 quarters of an inch. Your next step is to create components from bodies. So in here, you can right click on bodies and say create components from bodies, and it'll make all of your um, things into components, which are just like bodies, except you can manipulate them in different ways. Now we're going to place these into our stock. I'm going to right click on this, uh, no, sorry, I'm going to go to assemble joint, and then I'm going to select a area right here, um, and click it over here um, to select onto this piece here. It'll fly over there in a weird little animation, then you can hit the flip button and drag it over to a corner um, so it uh, uh, leaves room for your other piece. And we'll do another one here, um, J for joint or assembled joint. Click on a flat surface in the middle here, and then click on a flat surface over here. Um, and then if you click not on the middle, you have to click a couple times to select a location. Flip it inside of there and drag it to a position. All right, now we're ready to cut this out. We have our stock and our models. We'll go into manufacture. In manufacture, I'm going to delete the old work I already did here so you can see the new stuff. I'm going to go to setup, new setup. Um, first, I need to select uh, the location of my axes. Um, I'm going to put these at the bottom edge of my stock, uh, bottom corner like that. And I just select the, um, uh, the point that I want after clicking on the uh, center piece of these axes here and move it around. If you need to switch your, um, z well, let me get your stock correct next. Next on the uh, select your models tab, um, I want to select this part here and this part here are my models. Um, the stock I want to cut is in the next tab. I'm going to go to, instead of a mode relative size box, change it to from solid and I want to select this as my solid. Um, now, if your z-axis is going the wrong way, or your x-axis or your y-axis is going the wrong way, you can manipulate them by clicking on the arrows here. Um, the end of the arrow makes it flip um, 180 degrees, and the uh, beginning of the arrow allows you to select. Um, let's see here. The beginning of the arrow allows you to select an edge that you would like to follow with that. Okay, that's all good to go. Um, now you're going to have already downloaded the toolpaths from, um, from Schoology. Uh, to get them, you're going to right click on your setup and select uh, Create from Template. And I already have mine loaded in here, and you will soon too, but you can, uh, to get them the first time, you go to Select Template. In Select Template, you have to go to your local library and then import the template that you downloaded. Uh, so here's the templates that I downloaded already from Schoology as an example. And um, they're already in here, so I'm going to hit um, cancel and then just right click, uh, select from template, create from template, and I already have my 2D contour or my quarter bit um, template right there. Okay. Now this brings in a ton of data that you, um, you don't need to know the answers for because I've already done it for you. In edit here, you'll see there's all sorts of information in here. Um, I made one mistake in linking. This should be, instead of 0.2, it should be 0.1. It actually wouldn't make much difference at all, but it will uh, not give you an error then, which is a little bit nicer. The only thing you have to do is in your geometry tab, and this may look more like this on your screen. Not quite like that, it might look more like this. You can select geometry, contour selection. You need to click on the bottom contour for everything. But because we have inside and outside cuts, if we were to cut out our outside and then cut out our inside, 
um, the piece would be moving around. It wouldn't be held down firmly. So we need to cut out our insides first and then cut our outside cuts after that. So here's an inside cut. Here's an inside. I'm grabbing the bottom line of these. You might need to orbit a little bit to get a good angle to get the bottom line. And uh, I can also cut out my circles at this point. And right here. And right here. And right here. And here. Okay, after you've selected all your contours, um, that is basically all you need to do in this toolpath. We can click OK. Next thing you want to do is do your outside cuts. So I'm going to right click on this contour I just made and copy paste it. Um, so I'm going to right click on it and say copy and then right click on my setup and paste it. It'll pull in all the old data um, that you had, so you want to um, not use two of the same things. So I'm going to right click on it, edit it, and change the geometry to not be those, but to instead be my two outside cuts for my second toolpath. And that's all you need to do. To post-process this and take it to the machine, I want to first make sure that my inside cuts are before my outside cuts, and make sure that my setup has the zero on the table, the z-axis going up and the x and the y going in positive directions. Right click on your setup and hit post process right here. Um, then you can uh, select the post processor in this window by clicking the three dots. And you want to search for um, ShopBot Open SBP, this one here. Not the HandyBot, not the ISO, but ShopBot Open SBP. That's the one you select. And then you can post it to a flash drive. Oh, I don't have one in right now, but you'd see a flash drive down here and call it your name um, .sbp and hit save. Then we can go to the machine and cut it out.